everybody, my name is Zool and welcome to PC Basics. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to use zip files and how to use RAR files. Uh, I'm not going to explain what these are, you can go ahead and watch some other videos for that. So let's just get started, we'll get this out of the way nice and quick. So throughout your online adventures, you may have downloaded something, whether it's a picture, whether it's music, whether it's a mod for a video game, and it was kind of in a mysterious format. Uh, the file ended in .rar, as you can see here, or .7z. And the same is true for .zip, I just don't have one on my desktop, but imagine all of these work the same. When you try and open them, uh, basically you get a little thing like this, it says how would you like to open the file, and you're not exactly sure what to do. I'm going to show you a program that will allow you to open them and allow you to create archives of your own. This program is called 7-Zip. In order to download and install 7-Zip, head over to the link in the description below. From there, you're going to need to click on the download for either the 32 or 60 ver version of Windows, depending on which version you have. And we're going to take the .exe version. Uh, and if you're not sure how to tell which version of Windows you are, I'll throw a link in the description to a video that covers that. But I'm going to be using the 64-bit version. So just go ahead and download that and wait for it to finish, then drag the executable to your desktop. As you can see, the file we just downloaded is right here on my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and double click on it. Uh, it's going to ask you where you would like to install it. That's perfectly fine. It's a very small program. I'm going to go ahead and hit install. It'll take a few moments and then you're done. From here, not a lot looks like it happened. However, you will be given a new option anytime you right click on one of these folders. So let's take, for example, this .rar folder here. If I right click on it, there's a new option labeled 7-zip. From here, I can move my mouse over and there's a couple of different options. You can open the archive. Uh, this allows you to see what's inside, uh, but you can't really do much else here. I can't actually use these things uh, without extracting them. Uh, but the more important thing is how to open these types of folders. So we're gonna go over to 7-zip and we're going to select extract. Now there's a couple of different ways you can extract it. You can extract it here, which will dump all the files on our desktop. We don't want that, that'll be very messy. We want to extract it into a folder on our desktop. So select the extract to, and as you can see in quotations is the name of this folder. So if I rename this folder to hi, uh, for example, uh, then it will extract to hi, which is perfectly fine. So if you click this, a few moments will pass and you will get a folder. Inside the folder is the contents of the program you tied to download. And that's all there is. Once you have uh, mastered these steps, you can go ahead and extract pretty much any archive. If you'd like to see another episode of PC Basics, leave a comment with a suggestion. Perhaps there's a topic you've been trying to show somebody how to do and you haven't quite found the way to explain it. Let me know and I will do my best to share my knowledge with the world. Thanks for watching everybody. I've been Zool. Have an excellent day. Here's the outro.